Wednesday. Hey, Jarvis, just starting out, uh, what does this mean to you to be coming here and, and playing for the Saints and coming home? Um, it's a special time. It's a special time. As a, as a kid growing up, um, being from Louisiana, you always want to play for your hometown team. So it's a blessing to be here um, and to have this opportunity. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, um, welcome home. Um, what was this process like for you in terms of just how long it took for you to find your spot? Yeah, it was it was um it was a bit it was a bit stressful, you know, it was it was um um but it gave me an opportunity to um you know train like I wanted to, um be with my family, spend time with my family, um and um but also gave me an opportunity to, you know, be able to call New Orleans home. You know, I had a great visit when I came. Um me and Mickey spoke, um me and DA spoke, I had a great conversation with Jameis. Um, that led to future conversations down the road that ultimately leads to me sitting here in this seat um, that were very important and instrumental in um, me actually deciding to be a New Orleans Saints. Rob Walker. Hey, Jarvis, um, what's been the response from your friends, uh, guys like Tyron and, and those guys? And also, that is what, um, what do you think your role could be in this offense? Yeah, man, everything has been, you know, uh, everything has been kind of what, it, what has been expected. You know, everybody's just, you know, saying congratulations, you know, let's get to work. Um, and obviously what's expected of me just continue to be who I am, you know, continue to be a leader, continue to make plays, um, continue to be a man of a man of the community um, and doing my part in the community. And that's all the things that I'm looking forward to doing. Oh, hey, Jarvis. Um, I know it's kind of general, but how big of a Saints fan were you growing up? Uh, I was I was a huge Saints fan. I was a huge Saints fan. I also was a, a TO fan at the time, so you know I was going back and forth. But you know I always kept a close eye on the hometown team. Hey, what were uh, some of those conversations with, with James that you said kind of played a part in you uh, coming here? Yeah, just understanding, you know, the dy dynamic of, you know, the receivers that have been here. Um, obviously, understanding the dynamic of the team, the culture, um, the coaching staff, you know, about the coaching staff and um, and how the organization is ran as a whole, you know. And that's something for me um, going into my ninth season uh, and being a pro, like, you know, I want to walk into a situation where culture is set, you know, walk into a situation where, um, you know, everybody's working on one accord, you know, and that's something that's um, very important to me at this stage in my career and obviously have an opportunity to know what, you know, what Jameis is going to do back there. So uh, knowing that I'll, I'll have a, some chance to make some plays out there too. Why, why are you smiling when you mention Jameis? <laughs> because that's one thing he's going to do. He's going to throw it, you know. He's going to throw it and he's going to make plays and he's going to trust his guys to make plays for him. Um, and as a receiver, um, that's all you need, you know, that's all you want. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, um, have you uh, talked to Tyron lately? Um, it's been a while since you were teammates. Yeah, I know, it's been, it's been a while, but yeah, we've spoken. We've spoken uh, these last two weeks. His birthday was actually yesterday as well, so um, we spoke, uh, we've been speaking. Um, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's a New Orleans Saint. You know, um, and honestly, to tell you the truth, one of the reasons, again, too, he's another reason why um, I wanted to actually be here. You know, everything that he means to the game, obviously, but, you know, the leadership that he's shown since, you know, since high school when I met him at a Tennessee camp um, doing one-on-ones, you know, and the thing about the year has been instrumental in the person, the player that I've become, you know, and to have opportunity to, um, play on this level at this stage um, here in New Orleans um, is something that's very special uh, to him, uh, to me, and um, I think uh, our conversations kind of, you know, led to there and we'll continue on from there. Go ahead, Amy. Yeah, I have, you said pen to paper earlier, wearing the hat with the Florida leaf, has it hit you yet? Or... <laughs> 
the more I look at this screen, he told me to look up at this at this uh, at this camera up here. But the more and more I, I look up at this screen, I it is it is definitely setting in, and um, and it's an amazing feeling. I would say that. Nick Underhill, how do you see maybe yourself and Mike and Crystal? Are they kind of complementing one another and fitting in with? with I mean, you know, we all have different types of skill sets, you know, um, me and Mike more similar. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, you know, we we all are, are a problem. You know, we all pose a type of threat, you know, and uh, especially here in this offense where, you know, things are interchangeable, um, personnels, different types of personnels, um, different weapons. You can't ever leave out AK and the things that he does for the running game. Um, and then obviously getting Jameis back healthy. Um, and, and under center is going to be important. Mike Tripland. Hey, Jarvis. I, I apologize if this is a repeat, but, um, you know, I mean, waiting until May to sign, did you end up choosing sort of fit and location over money at some point? I mean, could you have taken more money at some point, but you were, this, this was more important to you to find the right place and the right fit? Yeah, I think there were some opportunities out there. Um, but, you know, as we continue to game plan on, you know, what I really wanted, you know, and what I wanted to achieve and accomplish, you know, that quickly got narrowed down to a few teams, you know. And once it played out and got to where it was after the draft and the situation about money, it was more about, like you said, it was about fit. It was about location. Um, and those became the priorities for me and my camp and making a decision to be a New Orleans Saint. And, and were the conversations with Tyron just, hey, this would be cool? Or, or was it even more calculated than that? Were you guys like, we could both go here and, and wouldn't this be <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, that, 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 uh, that would have been, been good if we, we could have planned this, you know. Um, but I think we both were kind of watching. You know, we both were kind of watching, taking our time and, you know, kind of understanding our situation and our position and what it, what we wanted to achieve, you know, and where we where we had the best opportunities to achieve those things um, from a team perspective and as a and you know as players as individuals. So I think um, you know it, it kind of played out the way that it did, and I'm happy it did because um, you know there's no no not many teams that I've played with that I hold to um, a high regard as I do. do for Yeah, um, well, I don't really necessarily believe in pressure. You know, um, I think I think this is a great opportunity um, for me to get back playing great football. Um, you know, for for an amazing organization. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe this more here in New Orleans. So that's what I'm looking for forward to, and that's what I'm counting on. John Hendricks. Hey, Jarvis. Please. Hey, Jarvis. Yeah, I mean, just just growing through adversity. You know, that that's kind of one of the things that's been consistent. You know, um, um, having success and not winning, or not having success and 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 still not winning, or whatever it is, injuries, um, the business side of it. You know, things that I've learned throughout the process, but also things that I'm grateful for because, again, I wouldn't be here today um, to be able to you know talk to you guys, to be able to wear these colors and. Yeah, I mean, it's it's part of who I am. Like I said, that's like that's my identity. That's who I am. You know, my character, um, my personality. You know, not only shows on the field, but it shows in the community as well. You know, and um, that I'm a big leader by example type of guy. Um, and when I need to speak up, I speak up. But 
for the most part, you know, you know, again, I always go back to DA and um, my conversation with Mickey has been about just coming in and being who I've always been, you know, and letting the rest play out. So, you know, that's kind of what I've been tasked to do, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Okay, we're all set. Thanks so much for the time, Jarvis. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jarvis. Thank you.